please list your use cases and demo them. Uh, so we're going to start by looking at use cases from Xbeam's Outcomes Navigator. Xbeam has been aligning all of our content and workflows around use cases for close to two years. The three use cases that we provide our customers are malicious insider, external threats, and compromised insider. And within each use case, you can drill down into the individual scenarios, if you will, of these use cases. Each of these use cases within Outcomes Navigator is also getting a coverage score. We're telling our customers how much coverage do they have from a detection and response perspective against any of these use cases. And we use a slider here or a window of good, better, best because you're never 100% done in security. So let's take an example of phishing here. So I can get a quick view here of my phishing coverage. I can see it's good. I can see my coverage over time. I can see how many different products I'm onboarded out of product categories that are driving this use case. I can see some of the individual outcomes related to detection rules that I have, either enabled and that are working, uh, visualizations and dashboards related to this use case phishing, and even the products and the categories uh, and the individual products that I'm onboarding and parsing. Uh, you'll also see the parser calibration tier. So this tells me how well I'm normalizing this and how much value I can get out of any given use case. If a customer wants to increase their coverage of a use case, they can come over to the recommendation section which will provide first and foremost recommendations of improving parsing of data they're already ingesting to get more value. And then we'll also provide them a list of what other data sources they could onboard to improve that use case. Now, when it comes to the source side of the house, if we come into our incidents list, I can also now start to sort all of my incidents or cases based on the incident type. And again, this is the same list of all of those use cases we just showed you. So I wanna actually look at phishing. What kind of cases do I have related to phishing? Well, here we go. I have a number of different incidents or cases related to this use case. So I can go ahead and I can open this up and you'll see I have my incident type. Uh, so we do automatic classification. So we actually have a playbook that runs uh, that does the classification of any given case to automatically classify it as a phishing incident, if you will, or I can manually add additional use cases. Once I come to my workbench here, this is where I can do the automation. So we can actually run individual actions, or we have playbooks specific to use cases. We have various what we call turnkey playbooks. Uh, so I have one here for phishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this phishing playbook. And this is gonna start to return the results as these cards populate on the screen. So as the actions run, these cards return my results. Uh, I can see what my playbook ran. I can see the individual actions here. And before we drill into the individual actions and see the results, we can also go into our playbook editor. Uh, and this is going to show me how we define playbooks. So we have a no code playbook editor, you know, very much a, a Visio style drag and drop editor here. So I can open up my phishing turnkey playbook and I can see when it starts, it goes and extracts links from the text. It gets reputation. And again, this is powered by an OEM from recorded future. So customers don't need to do any integration or any setup in order to get this playbook to run. You'll also notice here I have a trigger. I've already defined a trigger to run this playbook anytime I have a new incident that's of type phishing. So this playbook can automatically execute now the next time I have a new incident for phishing. If I come back to the workbench, we can start to see here, first it went and extracted links from the body of the email. So I had a couple of links. Uh, I can see here the risk score. Uh, good thing none of these particular links were malicious. Uh, and you'll also see that because of this, some of the output, I can recategorize this particular incident. Uh, so I may want to increase the priority or actually deprioritize this because I didn't have any incident uh, related things found from the recorded future of the threat intelligence. Uh, you'll also see in some cases we have actions that run and they don't find the results. So we'll tell the analyst, you know what, this no user found. It's not that this errored out, but we just didn't see the values of this particular action. So Exabeam is all about aligning all of our detection content and the entire TDIR workflow around these particular use cases to really help drive better capabilities for our customers. Now, because of the playbook editing capabilities, in the case where you have a behavior analytics type detection, I'm going to go into actually Barbara Salazar here. I'm going to remove my incident type. Uh, and let's go into a notable session. You can see again, we have automatic uh, use case classification and that's actually being done through our classification playbook. Uh, so we have another playbook here that does the classification of the particular use cases. So it analyzes all of the behavior analytics detections, all of the different types of anomalies and it will automatically classify these as well. So we really are focused on this use case based approach to streamline that overall TDIR experience.